Hi, I'm Jared, and this is Omnivore Bladeworks. Y'all like sharp things. Welcome to my armory. It is a mess, but I've been working on a project all day, and the last couple days, actually, trying to get the Tanuki Tonto ready for you to see. Um, the knife, I'll explain first. This is a... I wonder if the best way to show this. Mm, yeah, that'll work. Anyway, this is... Um, Quarter inch thick, os tempered 1095 steel with Elite Series Cerakote smoke uh, finish on it. Black micarta canvas scales and the red possum track. Red delineates 1095. Um, there are some 01 blades out there that have the red possum track too, but from now on, uh, since I started using 5160 and 3V, I'm using different colored possum tracks to delineate different types of steel. So this is a distal taper that I've done on this knife. You can maybe see it in this angle. Uh, but basically what I did was I ground an offset line and passed the spine uh, consistently on both sides after I did my point geometry. And then I went back and I, I flat sanded the flats so that my it looks like I have a concentric arc grind geometry to like a regular flat grind, but I actually have a distal taper. So that's unique to this um, Tanuki Tonto and to the Tanuki Wakasaji, which I'm going to pull out of the drawer. Tim, I can pick the correct drawer. There's one. So you can see the same effect on this one, perhaps. But both of these are matching um, blades, distal tapers, and uh, the convention on the handle is the same as you may have seen on the website. A little dog bone hilt area, and then uh, a concave waist on the, on the handle so that if you have big fat hands and you want more grip, then you can wrap your grip like this Raven Dagger with some silicone tape or some paracord in whatever style you want to. If you have small hands, leave it alone or spray it with some tacky, I don't know, beeswax or something. Anyway, the uh, the sheath for the Tanuki Tonto, you can see I'm wearing one here and I'm wearing one on my back. Where else am I wearing one? I don't know. But the, the concept is that I have plenty of holes in the sheath so I can run a little uh, two-way belt panel which just screws on to the side with some uh, rubber hose spacers and some Chicago screws. Or, obviously, I can run a malice clip at this angle, which I picked basically because I thought that coming straight up, you'd pop yourself in the face, you know, bonk with the, with the handle, bonk, uh, if you came straight at it at the top. So I wanted to offset it so I could basically have access from either side by pulling this way if I needed to or reverse grip strong draw and be able to use the knife. Most of you professionals will say don't put your knife on your front because somebody might grab it from you. That's why I put the other option to just turn it upside down and I put a pull the dot on this version so that it won't fall out. And then you've got edge up carry so that as soon as you need it, it's going right in where it needs to go, and then your problem might be solved. Albeit you'd have other problems after that. This is, let's see, can I get back in the hole? Oh, that was easy. Anyway, so then, if you don't wear your plate carrier or other molly gear, then there's other options too. So I'm gonna pull this off. So say, now I'm in my t-shirt, what can you see? Oh, there's something on my back. There's a scout carry right on my belt using that horizontal or vertical grip um, belt panel. Um, I've never really walked around the woods with a knife on my back, but I know there's some guys that do. So edge down or edge up, whatever you like, there is a smooth spine version of the same um, Venusi Tonto. And if this was really sharp, I would be being more gingerly about putting that back. Okay, what else have I got? Do you see anything? 
I'm a rugged maniac. Um, well, there is my inside the waistband holster for this. It's the same setup, but it has some belt loops in these two unused holes. See those two holes? Bop, bop. Those are 0.2 inches in diameter, and they receive a little baby Chicago screw, stainless steel. All the fasteners now are upgraded to stainless steel because aluminum sucks for that purpose. Uh, some of my old stuff does have aluminum, and that's just the way it is. So anyway, you've got the ability to carry your inside the waistband 7 inch long tonto under your t-shirt if you want to. This is another uh, smooth spine model for comparison. The jimping I thought just looked cool and so that's what I made both. Um, if you got a really aggressive um, situation and you needed to put your hand on something to push through then the jimping would help keep you from sliding as much. It's really kind of slippery because of the Cerakote but it could be helpful but mostly it's, for me it's just aesthetic. Anyway, the sheath is exactly the same for both knives and um, did I talk about the seal? Um, track record of Austemper 1095 is pretty damn good. We're getting edge hardnesses around 56 and that edge hardness only comes up about, I don't know, 3 eighths of an inch thick or 3 eighths of an inch up the blade. So you have a very tough blade that will always bend and take a set if you over torque it before it snaps off in your hand. So you'll know when you're prying that door open or you're taking and doing something stupid with your knife, it'll it'll bend and stay there before it snaps off and you fall off a cliff and die. So that's important to me to always make sure that a knife yields before it snaps. And not just like, you know, springs. I don't believe in that for a hard use knife. Um, there's some steels that are so damn tough and so hard that you won't even come close to breaking them and uh, that's a different category. 3V is a different category than 1095 um, but they both do the same job pretty damn well. Um, that's all I have to say about that. So Tanuki series I have only four of these. One of them is definitely spoken for one set of these and uh, the next project is to get the sheets done for this joker, also distal tapered. I don't know if I mentioned that in this particular video, but boy, that feels good. Whew, I like it. Um, give me comments on where to carry this little joker, uh, maybe behind the back, or maybe traditional. I don't know, where would you carry this? Better carry a big sword. I got the knife figured out, but not the sword. Anyway, thanks for watching. Comment below, sressentials at gmail.com. See you next time.